Welcome to Mackay's technical video series. In this edition, we will be covering the use of Mackay Lay Seismic to retrieve cables from the seabed. While a cable ship is retrieving cable from the seabed, the operator must maintain some residual tension in the cable that remains on the seabed. Currently this is done without any feedback system, leaving the operator in the dark as to what the cable is doing below the sea surface. To be safe and prevent the cable from having slack on the seabed during retrieval, the operator tends to pull the cable with high tensions which potentially foul and damage the cable and sensors. To counter this risk, cable retrieval operations are currently being performed at conservative speeds. This increases the duration and consequently the overall cost of the operation. Mikhaile Seismic has been optimized for cable retrieval and has the ability to accurately model the cable seabed interactions. Having an accurate knowledge of the cable conditions on the seabed at all times allows for cable retrieval at higher speeds while still maintaining lower bottom tension. This in turn decreases cable dragging on the seabed and helps to minimize cable fouling on bottom outcrops and cable abrasion, thus extending the life of the valuable array. What you see on your screen is a still frame of a cable retrieval from the 3D viewer which is part of the graphic user interface for Mackay Lay Seismic. The viewer displays the computed cable shape in the water column and the cable being dragged on the bottom in real time. The blue object at the top is the cable ship on the surface moving at 4 knots in waters 300 meters deep. The orange lines are the location of the cable shown at 30 second intervals. The black dots are geophones, and the green plane is the seabed. Notice the C-shaped catenary of the cable, indicative of low seabed tension of approximately 1300 newtons. Strong cross currents add complexity to a cable lay by introducing the risk of the cable dragging laterally on the seabed, even if the ship is directly in line with the cable path. In this head-on view, you can see that half a knot of lateral current causes the cable to drift to your left and drag on the seabed, potentially causing damage to the cable. As you can see in this head-on diagram, the cable ship needs to be offset to one side of the cable path to compensate for cross currents and allow the cable to leave the seabed without dragging laterally more than a meter. The Kyle Seismic takes the current drag into account and informs the operator of the vessel to change course to compensate for this current drift, ensuring that the cable is lifted off of the seabed vertically. This preserves the valuable array and protects your bottom line. For more information on how Mackay Lay Seismic can improve the efficiency of your seismic array retrieval operation, please visit Mackay.com.